back to Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. I'm Candace Cole. Today we are making cheeseburger egg rolls. Yeah, everything that you would put inside of a cheeseburger, but wrapped up inside of an egg roll. These are really delicious. I've had them before. I think you guys will really enjoy them. Just a few simple ingredients. Egg roll wrappers. You can usually find these egg roll wrappers in the fruit and veggie section in supermarkets. It comes with 20 in a pack. You need one pound of ground meat. My husband wants the ground beef, but I want the ground turkey, so I'm gonna be using two pounds. Ours are gonna be really stuffed. You can do this too if you want. You also need one onion all chopped up, and we're gonna be using some cheese. That's it, that's all you need. You also need a little water to seal close your egg roll wrappers, but everyone should have water. Boss it. So the first thing we're gonna do is brown up our ground meat, and while we're browning it, we're gonna be cooking our onion right inside with it. Let's get started. If you want to, there is an option to mix in some mustard right inside of your mixture. I thought I'd throw the option out there for you. You could put mushrooms in here, you could do seasonings. This is a really customizable recipe. Throw some bacon in it. You, you're gonna get the point. You're gonna get the gist of how to make these and then make them your own way. Let me know how you make them though. Now it's up to you, but I like to add a little salt and a little pepper in mine just to flavor it up while it's cooking. We got our meat browned and our onions in there too. Now we're gonna start making our egg rolls. We need to open those up. Be careful when opening those up. Egg rolls tear really easily, these wrappers. So you can see I've prepared a little um, like cooking setup station here. Here's where I'm gonna roll my egg rolls. I have a little bowl of water, we're gonna need that, and then over here is where I'm gonna put my completed egg rolls. We should probably pre-open our cheese too. I'm just using a shredded uh, cheddar cheese. The first time I made this recipe, I did it with sliced cheddar cheese like you would put on a hamburger, and it wasn't good. It was poking through the egg roll wrappers and it broke them, so I've learned to use shredded. So we're gonna hold them in like um, a diamond sort of way and set them down. And we need a spoon. Now I'm making mine extra full because I have two pounds of meat. If you only have one pound of meat, you know, just eyeball what you need to do. So I'm going to get some meat in there, put it at the end, make sure there's some onions in there. Add my cheese inside. We're going to roll this up, this triangle piece, tuck it under. We're gonna grab one end, tuck that under, grab the other end, tuck that under and then just roll it up. We want to make it tight. We don't want um, anything coming out. We don't want any holes. We're going to take our water, our finger, dip it in our water and just trace that triangle up top and that's going to help give us that good seal. Roll it up and you're done. We're going to do this with all of our egg rolls. At some point while you're rolling, when you're towards the end, you might want to start heating up your oil. I notice like when my oil starts to smoke, then I'm like, okay, it's hot enough. Then we're gonna drop our egg rolls in. So I've stopped using the spoon and I'm just using my hands. I was able to make 14 egg rolls. You can see mine are, these ones are a little small, but these ones, I mean, those are filled. You can make them smaller and you'll definitely be able to make more. I only used um, a little over one cup of cheese and I used one whole onion to do this. So we're going to take the egg rolls now and we're going to fry them in that heated oil. We're going to fry them on each side. It'll just probably take a couple minutes per side. Once they get that golden color, they are done. I'm going to set them on a plate with some paper towels on it to absorb that grease. Here we go. I'm just going to cook mine in vegetable oil. Yeah, it's going good. I like to fry the sides of them too. Not just the front, not just the back, but I put it on the side for a little bit. If your oil is deep enough to cover them, then you'll be fine. Mine wasn't. All right guys, those egg rolls are all done. They cook for just a minute about on each side. Once that oil gets nice and hot, you need to just stand there and flip them. You may need to turn down your oil about a little bit through your cooking time because it just gets so hot. Now, let's try them. Oh, did you see that? When I cracked it open, that cheese, they're hot and steamy. I don't want to like die. I like to dip these in some yum yum sauce. If you haven't tried yum yum sauce, I suggest you do. They sell it at Walmart. Mmm, hot, <laughs> but really good. That is awesome. Mmm, I love the taste of that fried egg roll. And it goes so well with meat and cheese, guys. Mmm, you need to try this. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'm keeping it real in the kitchen. I hope you share this with some friends. Make sure you subscribe. Give this video a like. Leave me some comments, and I'll see you next time on Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. Bye. Dinner's ready. Anybody? Anybody want dinner?